What's up, 31 fam? How you doing? Punk Rock Dad's back with some punk rock music. Go figure, right? Um, I figured I'd just hit the nail on the head with that one. Uh, but no effects. Fuck euphemism. Song I haven't heard yet. Pretty excited. I was going to do this when it came out, but I wasn't feeling good. I'm back. I'm feeling pretty great. So let's listen to some music, okay? You ready? I'm excited. Don't forget, every Saturday night, Therapy Sessions Live with yours truly, Punk Rock Dad. And my wife usually makes an appearance, and she's lovely. So come hang out with us every Saturday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, live stream every single week, and we hang out and we talk about our feelings and farts, uh, horror movies, music, punk rock, metal, hip-hop, whatever, man. We just talk about whatever we like, man. It's a good time. Let's listen to this music, and then I'll give you my spiel afterwards. It's a good time there, too. All right? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. I don't know what you're talking about. Feeling cute. Might delete later. Come on, Fat Mike. That's a dope sweater, though. Embrace your butt plugs, folks. Fat Mike says so. I walked into the Eagle and someone called me sis. I said, I'm not a sis, I'm a sissy. Should I call <laughs> you Mr. or Miss? I said, I'm actually a trans man. But before I got to tight, the place erupted into my first gender. Pronoun bar fight. <laughs> that's awesome. I feel like that's probably happened somewhere. Probably in California. Dude, that's wild. I. T- be nice to people come on just come on man like is it really bothering you that much to call somebody what they want to be called i mean i hope not i mean i guess if it is you know it's your right to be a prick they said i was a rock star dress the last one i be queer i huh? said my gender is fluid but that's how i like my beer they thought i was just posing Whoa! Let's hear it for lines and cunts. Publicity stunt until I did a line off Scarlet's hundred thousand dollar cunt. She paid a hundred thousand clam for a single clam in front. A very pricey pussy paid for by the government. <laughs> then I said, fuck you, feminism. Sis, but fuck my sis, clay. Or hit a trip. <laughs> <laughs> I love this band so much. Bro. Man, I feel like I've been on a roll with the last couple of songs that I've just fallen into because I'm feeling a whole bunch of fuck people that don't like me, man. And uh, if you don't like me, fuck you. Then I said, fuck you, euphemism. Sis, but fuck my sis, Clay. You're hypocritical, political, correct, this ain't legit. I mean it, fuck you, euphemism. I say what I want to say. Oh man, attacking them double standards, gotta love it. Dude, how good is this music still after all these years they're still playing like rad jams, dude, I'm so psyched. Like, I can't wait till their new album comes out in a few weeks, I'm definitely gonna have some in the store, so come by and check it out. Make a choice, they're wrong but yet we choose which gag to take away our voice. I identify as a grain of salt, Peter Pan our kiss, or a poly rubber puppies which back slept our masochist. So I said fuck you, euphemism, your words are neophyte. I'm a single, not a plural person, so call me per for the night. You're wrong if you hate me, just cause I'm a worse but then western. Like Nick this terminology from a Doris lesson, lesson. How bad do you feel when you realize that Fat Mike is smarter than you? That's got to irritate people. And I'm certain that I can contradict myself sometimes, but I am in no way, shape, or form like an intentional hypocrite, okay? But I am not perfect either. So, you know, if you don't like me for like a legitimate reason, um, I'm completely entitled to tell you to fuck yourself, but I'd like the opportunity to at least acknowledge it and see if I did something wrong. Because if I didn't, I'm not going to back up. But if I did something wrong, I'm a nice guy, man. You'd know that if you gave me a chance.
well that made my day better because I love that band and you know I think we're all in a constant state of growth and maturing I would like to think anyways um, that may not be true but I for myself anyways um, I was always kind of a rowdy little shit because I got picked on a lot when I was young and I just never calmed down and that's not an excuse it's just kind of like the backstory to my behavioral problems and uh you know i embrace it i know i got some issues upstairs but i also know that i got a big heart and i i do the best i can and i'm happy with that i'm happy with my channel i'm happy with my my folks over here that you guys are watching me i'm happy with that uh and i'm extremely happy that i'm married to my best friend and have three kids so i'm a success whether you like it or not um because success isn't all about this it's about this this and that all right and i get a whole bunch of smiles so um you know i'm not in here trying to be a, annoying or anything i'm not cool all right i don't care to be um but i like to hang out and have a good time so if you like to hang out and have a good time this is the place for you man we're an inclusive bunch over here at shop 31 all right um you can be a fan of whatever you like even if you like bands i don't like i don't that's cool whatever man there's tons of bands i don't like and i'm positive that there's bands that i like that you don't like um so even if we've argued in the past uh this is my olive branch take it man even if you want to hit me with it whatever dude cool um i'm really trying to grow up here and trying to like i'm on a journey and i like that you're with me so please hit the like button comment on this stuff and uh, subscribe to the channel go on this journey with me because it's a good time um heck maybe you like learn something too man i'm, I'm learning stuff every day doing this so uh i've learned how to eat crow pretty well i'm good at having to go oops <laughs> but uh if you want to support us in a different way we've got patreon merchandise etc etc um all that's in the description below as well as our p.o box anything that you need let me know i'm here for you all right punk rock dad out this bitch <laughs>